What's that? What is that? Hey, what is that? What is that? Rosie! Come and help me with the baby when you got the wood. Brush your hair and set the table. Here. Good morning. I don't know what you look for. Them. she doing here at this hour? Get rid of her fast. Don't have to be so rude. Morning, Miss Angeles. Morning. Oh. Well, my, don't we all look so clean and neat? Yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd drop off this box of clothes before I start my rounds back of Balaclava. Yeah. Oh, you're just flying everywhere. Well, thanks very much, Miss Angeles, for bringing the clothes over. They, they sure will come in handy. Thanks, thanks very so much. much. There's some baby things in there. Oh, yeah? And there's a dress on top Bye. I thought might do for Rosie. Yeah. Well, you just let us know if there's yeah. anything you want. Bye. The department's always ready to help. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. Bye. on earth could retrain you for anything. <laughs> hey, Amber, where the hell are you going? Hey. 
If I didn't have to have a helper by law, I'd fire for lazing on the job. Emery, you know I got a date with a big woman tonight, and I can't keep her waiting. The longer they wait, the better they are. Best damn brusher from Calabo to Kaladar. Yeah, I'm damn sight fairer than that, too. What happened, Emery? Uh, just let me lie down for a minute, let it be your fear. I don't kill easy. I got some brandy in the root house. Yeah. I can get some tea. Well, to be off with you, women. Go on, be off. Don't fuss me. in the world why you both can't go. It's a big country. Carson, it's the only chance I get to see Pa. You sneak off school and you gets to see him lots of times. Well, I ain't going after the girl along. Oh. Well, your tongue just talked you into a corner that your feet can't walk you out of. Come on, girl. Might cut a little wood, Carson. When I was little, I used to come up here, looking for that white fox with the pink eyes that Carson told me about. He told me that it was waiting up here just for me, mm. and that if I saw one, that was good luck forever. <laughs> and then I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Pa, 
What would Ma and the kids do if, if you got really sick and laid up? Don't spoil a nice day with a lot of nonsense, huh? But, Paul, what if you did? I mean, we'd have to get help somewhere. From somebody. Like Miss Angelus. Angelus! I never thought that Listen I'd live to, to see me? the day when my own daughter would talk to me in my own woods like that. We could get a new fridge for Ma and, and, and store groceries and, well, a new dress for me. The bleakers down the road, they applied for help and they even got a TV set. I am a plumber and not a bleaker. And so are you. You think you'd know that? It's school that puts these crazy new ideas into your head. School's for boys. Always fools around with women's heads. I worry, and I have to say what I feel. And you're so darn stubborn. Yeah. yeah, well, your only worry is to find yourself a good man. You know, I wouldn't mind so much losing you now, proper like, to another man. I'm going to get out of this place and get some money. Well. I'll tell you, there's none better off and they're happier than we are, and most of them haven't got a soul to call their own. Well, this place isn't going to do for me what it did for them. Hector and Matthew working in the bush when they can get it. And Deborah and Nancy and Margaret married to guys who's out of work half the time home too darn much for their own good anyway. And baby after baby after baby. Uh, I suppose you're too good for that, huh? Oh. I got this funny restlessness inside me. And it drives me. Lots of things that I'd like. We're glad. A man has to set his price. Well, maybe you'll understand that someday. I hope. D string. 
I'm going to fix that before we can get to the dance. Why are you ugly to me, George? Why are you ugly to me? Why? Is that too hot for you? Is it too hot? When it's hot. Is it too hot? Ready? Well, it's pretty hot. Okay. How's that? Okay. Are you getting dressed or you getting undressed? You're dressed. Come on, Tarzan. Put the soap down and let's get you dry. Hey, you're a slippy one. Okay. Come here. Turn this way. You don't have any, do you? Come on. How did you manage that? Don't throw the cookie in the bathtub. And get away from the pot. Just put it in the garbage. All right, let's go. It's party time. Come on. And I got the wagon all set to go. Right, right here. Good luck of wine, baby. Come on. Nikita, are you going to go in that lounge? Right down there with my girl. I'm glad you doll you. Don't worry. Just cheer up the kids a little. Oh! Come on, are you ready to go or not? Yeah. Oh, smoke for my pal. Uh, uh, Come on, Anita, get some clothes on. It's time to go. Okay. Come on, Thank honey, you. we're all waiting for you. Everybody else is ready. I've been helping Ma. I'm not ready. Uh, all right, here, I'll hand you up. Oh, there's one. Oh, and here's two. Oh, oh. And a big fella. Hey! Oh, oh, Laurie's there. Yeah, yeah, take Laurie in next, huh? Okay. Little one. And even little one. And a great big girl. And another big girl. And Carson, you can manage on your own. Don't let Adam help you too. Yes, sir. No. All Now take your 
ladies on the floor. Now change your mind, but only a half. No green left, no face all now. To the left, all over the hall. Right in here, ready to the red change on the journey. The shoe back, come down now. What's the matter? Yeah. What do you mean? They're having a good time. Why shouldn't they? Life's short. Oh, she's so fat and pregnant. Well, she, she shouldn't be. Oh, you uppity brat. You're my twice a woman you'll ever be. You and your big tits. Now that you have proper respect for my... Jesus, shut up! Why is she trembling or what? Quiet, Alex! Quiet, Alex! Quiet, Alex! You know that wasn't true. You'll be a great woman. Better maybe than your mother. That is, if you have a few proper lessons from the proper man. Have you ever played ambulance? Well, I'll be the ambulance, and you be the stoplight. Red light. Ambulances don't stop at red lights.
I am getting married to Kate Shoniker at the end of the month. Shoniker? Well, whoever would have believed it. Oh, oh. The only woman I ever met that was my match. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I think our turn in. Adam, get me a drink of water. <coughs> I got feathers in my ears and a, a mighty thirst. Jeez, Emery, what is it? Adam, I think you're going to have to get me to a doctor. Must be real tough trying to decide from that distance. I mean, them never having met a Serenitan, huh? <laughs> it's like buying a pig in a poke, if you ask me. I brought you some tea. Oh, Rosie, how nice of you. Such hospitality. Here, let me show you how simple the forms are. It's so easy nowadays. Yeah, maybe it's too damned easy. Hmm? Why don't you just listen? It wouldn't hurt you to listen. Thank you, Rosie. You see, Emery, this is a special fund set up by the government for people who get into financial difficulties through no fault of their own. It can happen to any of us. Now, if you just fill out these forms with me, after the proper investigation, the government begins procedures of payments so that your income will be supplemented up to the required minimum level. Glad you understand that no matter what Emery makes per annum, your income will be supplemented up to a required minimum level. Well, there are no strings attached. The check comes in the mail. And the only thing is, of course, that... Uh, I have to inspect the house periodically to see how you're making out. Uh, now, what did you earn last year? Uh, no, no, no. See, I'm going to be up. I'm back to work tomorrow. Just a little talk with you makes me very sure of that. But I'll call you, if I need you. Feel free to call any time. I have... <coughs> I have no set hours. Thank you for the lovely cup of tea, Rosie. sign for the winter at least now, this is no time to be speaking of those things well when are we going to speak of them we'll get by always have well if that isn't the biggest pipe dream I ever heard of and from a grown man 
What are we going to do when you're out of work? You got to sign those papers. Now, who says we have to do what? Your parl provide. Provide. What kind of a living is this? Oh, sure. You'll provide all right. You'll provide us with another baby. What's... What's Ma doing having another baby when there isn't even enough for what's here? Couldn't you at least do something? Rosie. Don't you see? You're 16. And you should start taking care of yourself. All right, then I will. This place isn't going to do for me what it did for Nancy and for Deborah and for Margaret. It isn't. Toast. We're having a great party. I think we should all come along with you on your honeymoon there, Adam. Huh? Hey! I mean, and old Adam here, Mrs. Rutland's favorite son, God bless her. And who is Adam chosen for his eve? Gerda Schonecker. Gerda Schonecker that was and Gerda Rutland that now is. Oh, you poor, poor thing. And Gerda, what can I tell you about Adam? Well, you Better not help. A fine figure of a man, Gerda. A fine figure of a man. You see that chest? A 54-inch chest and an IQ to match. <laughs> <laughs> Old Adam, I want to tell you, is the finest fella that ever drove a truck. And all I can say is that I hope that the both of you soon have lots and lots of little truckers all over the place. <laughs> Well, if you two are half as happy as Glad and I have been, I don't want to get maudlin, but, well, you'll be all right. Let's all drink to the health and happy future, eh, Gerda and Adam? No, I'm afraid I'll have to connect you. What number would you like, please? Two, three, three, seven, three, two, one. Thank you. Your number, please. Two two oh six. Thank you. Peter, look
Well, how are we this morning? Well, uh, I can't complain, Doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's cold. <laughs> yes. Thank you, nurse. Now, did we have a comfortable night? Well, I, I can't. Uh, Any discomfort? No. no see you. Uh, Vomiting? Uh, not, not, not as you'd. Uh, as you'd... Right. How does this feel when I press down? Uh, Any well, pain there? Uh, yeah, uh, she saw her, like. Mm -hmm. Does that hurt over there? Let's have a look at you here. Mm -hmm. It'd be cheapest to watch you. You'd think it was a matter of life and death. <laughs> Whole liver can sometimes be serious. How much temperature increased in the last 24 hours? Up. Oh, uh, the, the uh, now now the major ma uh, major Dempsey uh, over over to Ann Pryor. Now he he cured himself. A very uh, liver complaint and live to be 97. Oh, how's that? He did the cure. Well, uh, c cigars and uh, whiskey and hard work and women, the usual. Uh, he, he married for the third time when he was 79. Uh, uh, do doctor, when am I going to get out of this morgue of a place? If you go on boozing at your present pace, Mr. Promother, you're not going to last more than another three months. Good morning. I saw your baby a minute ago. He's a fine looking boy. No trouble feeding that one. I love for triplets. Have you ever seen one of these? No, what is it? It's called a loop. If you wear it, you don't have any more babies. Where do you wear it? If you go to the clinic doctor, he'll show you where to wear it. Oh, I, I might wear one of those things until I'm feeling really good again, but I won't wear it for very long. Why not? Wear anything like that spoils all the fun. Don't spoil all the fun. Must be tough, feeding all those mouths, oh, clothing all those kids. I mean, I've managed this far. I guess we'll get the rest of the way. Oh, I'm glad my beauty you done it again. She's lovely, Emery. She's just lovely. Better name her very carefully in case she's the last. said there'd be some work at the Balaclava Mill this week. Uh -huh. well, I can't wait. Do you think you're ready? 
Ready. Oh, ready for anything. No, not with your fingers. No, 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 no. Use Here. the fork. Not with your fingers. Put it down on your plate. Eight, eight, no. Eight, eight. Look, Put it down on your plate. There. Oh. Well, cut it out. Here, give me that. Not with all the potatoes. Cookies and cabbage. You like oh, you can't do it. How do you do for money whilst I was away? Oh, the baby bonus checks. I had Aggie cash them for me. And the Amos brought over some baking and some green bacon and some fish. And uh, the Martins and the, and the Berkeleys did some grocery shopping for me a couple of times. And Adam came in every day to see if there was anything we needed. I forgot to show you. <laughs> Glad. My diet. Breakfast, one half grapefruit. <laughs> breakfast, half a grapefruit? You? <laughs> no, every breakfast, one half grapefruit. Vegetables allowed. Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, lima beans. <laughs> 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 and no beer. Emory Prometer, the best gum busher from Calabogie to Canada.